Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Google I.O. As you may have heard, AI is having a very busy year. So we've got lots to talk about. Let's get started. Seven years into our journey as an AI-first company, we are at an exciting inflection point. We have an opportunity to make AI even more helpful for people, for businesses, for communities, for everyone. We have been applying AI to make our products radically more helpful for a while. With generative AI, we are taking the next step. With a bold and responsible approach, we are reimagining all our core products, including search. You will hear more later in the keynote. Let me start with a few examples of how generative AI is helping to evolve our products, starting with Gmail. In 2017, we launched Smart Reply. Short responses you could select with just one click. Next came Smart Compose, which offered writing suggestions as you type. Smart Compose led to more advanced writing features powered by AI. They've been used in workspace over 180 billion times in the past year alone. And now with a much more powerful generative model, we are taking the next step in Gmail with Help Me Write. Let's say you got this email that your flight was canceled. The airline has sent a voucher, but what you really want is a full refund. You could reply and use Help Me Write. Just type in the prompt of what you want, an email to ask for a full refund, hit Create, and a full draft appears. As you can see, it conveniently pulled in flight details from the previous email. And it looks pretty close to what you want to send. Maybe you want to refine it further. In this case, a more elaborate email might increase the chances of getting the refund. <laughs> and there you go. I think it's ready to send. Help me write will start rolling out as part of our workspace updates. And just like with Smart Compose, you will see it get better over time. The next example is Maps. Since the early days of Street View, AI has stitched together billions of panoramic images so people can explore the world from their device. At last year's I.O., we introduced Immersive View, which uses AI to create a high-fidelity representation of a place so you can experience it before you visit. Now we are expanding that same technology to do what Maps does best, help you get where you want to go. Google Maps provides 20 billion kilometers of directions every day. That's a lot of trips. Imagine if you could see your whole trip in advance. With immersive view for routes, now you can, whether you're walking, cycling, or driving. Let me show you what I mean. Say I'm in New York City, and I want to go on a bike ride. Maps has given me a couple of options close to where I am. I like the one on the waterfront, so let's go with that. Looks scenic. And I want to get a feel for it first. Click on Immersive View for Routes, and it's an entirely new way to look at my journey. I can zoom in to get an incredible bird's eye view of the ride. And, and as we turn, we get onto a great bike path. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful ride. You can also check today's air quality. Looks like AQI is 43, pretty good. And if I want to check traffic and weather and see how they might change over the next few hours, I can do that. Looks like it's going to pour later, so maybe I want to get going now. Immersive view for routes will begin to roll out over the summer and launch in 15 cities by the end of the year including London, New York, Tokyo, and San Francisco.